this is a very very big advantage kasi it lowers the competition hey guys in this video i'll be talking about the three freelance websites for landing page designers and yung mga websites that i discuss ko they are legit and for sure nababayaran kayo when you get clients from these freelance websites by the way guys if you're new to my channel i talk about landing page design conversion design um, the business of landing page design and also freelancing so if you like my content don't hesitate to subscribe all right guys so let's proceed sa topic now here's how i'm gonna discuss this topic yung three freelance marketplace yung gagawin ko is iisa-isahin ko sila and then i will discuss their pros or your or yung advantage nila and i'll also discuss yung disadvantage nila and lastly i'll also discuss how much you can charge per hour offering landing page and also guys just a disclaimer yung data ko or yung ilalagay kong rate or yung hourly rate is based from my own experience and from my team's experience and from the members of my group yung conversion designers philippines kasi yun yung nabigay nilang range na na-charge nila sa mga clients all right so yun let's proceed yung first na platform na i-discuss or first na freelance website na i-discuss is upwork now you're probably asking me why is upwork still included kasi di ba malakas yung competition dun sa upwork well yun Upwork is still there kasi nga, they are well-known brand and once you are a well-known brand and also a trusted brand, a lot of clients or a lot of businesses would list their jobs or post jobs inside that specific marketplace. So for that reason, yan yung first advantage na Upwork. They are well-known and trusted marketplace. Kaya madami yung job opportunities inside Upwork. All right? Okay, so the next advantage of having an account on Upwork is that your profile acts like a resume na open 24-7. Now, what do I mean by that? So, sa Upwork, once you create your own account, ilalagay mo dun yung information mo, like yung skills na in offer mo, uh, a little bit about yourself and a little bit about of your, ano, of your service, and yung maganda pa doon is pwede ka din mag-upload ng portfolio mo and kung meron kang past clients like naging successful yung work collaboration you guys pwede silang magbigay ng testimonial sa inyo now bakit ito important bakit kailangan mong gandahan yung profile mo kasi nga it acts like a 24/7 resume yung mga ano mga clients they also look for people na feeling nila qualified sa job na ipopost nila. And kung maganda yung profile mo, may chance na kunin ka nila, ini-invite ka nila privately na makipag-work sa kanila kaagad without you having to apply to their job posting. So, yun yung ano, yun yung maganda advantage sa Upwork, having an account on Upwork and making sure na yung profile mo is super optimized. So the next advantage sa Upwork is that yung payout is weekly. All right? Yan yung maganda. Kasi pag meron ka ng client and then you are working na ginamit mo yung tracker nila, automatically mababayaran ka nila. All right? Yan yung maganda kasi weekly yung payout. Although meron naman silang ano, other category which is fixed price. Although hindi natin yun na itatakol for today kasi yung topic lang natin is all about the platforms na legit. Alright? So yun, weekly payout if you charge hourly. Yun, for the disadvantage guys, kahit maganda yung Upwork, dahil nga well-known siya, and at the same time, dahil madaming mga freelancers ang gustong ano, makapag-create ng account inside Upwork, yung problem lang dyan is that it's difficult to be approved. Ano yung meaning ko? So, when you create an account on Upwork, hindi ka kaagad pwedeng makapag-apply sa ibang ano, sa mga trabaho na nakapost doon. Kasi, they will need to verify your profile first. 
which is why again sobrang important na i-customize mo yung profile mo what do i mean by that kasi yung iba na mga designers pag nag-apply sila sa Upwork kaya hindi sila na-approve is that yung nilalagay nilang position sa job or skill na in-offer nila is a very broad or medyo yung parang medyo malabong maintindihan ka agad like ilalagay lang ano yung pinakamagandang example okay sabihin na lang natin graphic design ilalagay lang nila na graphic designer knows photoshop knows adobe illustrator mga ganyan lang yung gusto kasi ni Upwork kailangan specific ka right how can you become specific kung nag-offer ka ng graphic design so this is a great example yung gagawin mo lang is Sabi natin, focus ka sa pag-design ng graphics for YouTube thumbnails. Ilagay mo lang na YouTube thumbnail graphic designer. So yun, mas naging specific ka na. Alright? So yun yung technique para mas mabilis kang ma-approve sa Upwork. Alright? But I'll also discuss this in upcoming videos if you want. Kung paano mapabilis ma-approve sa Upwork. Alright? So the next disadvantage sa Upwork is that Para makapag-apply ka ng trabaho doon, required kang bumili ng Conex. Okay? So, yung Conex is parang, yun nga, para siyang pamasahe para ka makapag-apply sa trabaho. So, you can, uh, yung pagkakaalam ko kasi yung ginagawa ko is monthly yung subscription ko kahit hindi na ako kumukuha ng clients upward because I'm getting clients directly. Yung nangyayari is that I always pay $15 or 750 pesos a month para magkaroon ng Conex. So, Conex is like, yun nga, para siyang pamasahe para makapag-apply ka saan? Sa, sa trabaho na nakapost dun. So, yun yung medyo hindi okay sa Upwork, especially if you're just starting out. Pero kung isipin mo siya na kung mag apply ka sa isang local company, and then magta-taxi ka, sabihin na lang natin, same pa rin, di ba? Gagasto ka pa din ng pamasahe. So yun, you can think of it as like pamasahe na mag apply The good thing about that is, yun nga, hindi ka naalis ng bahay, pwede ka mag apply like, in just one hour, pwede ka mag-apply ng tatlong trabaho. So yun. Anyways, so, the next disadvantage pala sa Upwork is that they also get 20% cut or fee sa na-earn mo. So, kunyari, example lang to guys, ha? Kunyari, yung payout ko ngayong week is $100, right? Naka-earn ako ng $100. 20% of that, or $20 of that $100, ibabayad natin sa Upwork because that's how they charge us para makakuha tayo ng trabaho. So, yun. Pero, once you earn $500, yung mga yari is that they will just get 10% fee. Alright? So, eto na yung tanong nyo. How much can you charge for a landing page design service inside Upwork or for clients na nasa Upwork? And I'll answer that in two ways. Alright? Now, if you are a landing page designer na yung focus mo is aesthetics, now what do I mean by aesthetics? yung focus ka paano mapapaganda yung isang landing page like yung graphics lang niya yung interaction like yung mga animation and ganyan ganyan you can charge $10 to $30 per hour yan yung range na nakuha ko from the members of conversion designers philippines right kasi yung ibang members ng group ko they are charging a minimum of $30 an hour when they are designing landing page. Now, if you are focused naman sa conversions, what do I mean by designing for conversions? Say for example, merong isang landing page and then yung ginagawa mo is, aside from the beautification part, you are also making sure na tataas yung sign up or paglalagay ng email address ng mga customers nila. Alright? That's already a conversion. You can charge a minimum of $45 an hour and above. Alright? So, yung pinaka na malaki kong nakuha as, ano, as a landing page designer na focus sa conversion is that I was able to charge, I guess, mga $130 an hour inside Upwork. 
that's just based on my experience so the next platform is called free up now if you are a designer who wants to work with clients na involves e-commerce or they are selling products online like amazon sellers free up is a very good platform for you now punta tayo sa first advantage niya unlike upwork sa free up you don't have to buy connects when you apply to jobs in short, libre lang siya as compared to Upwork na kailangan mong bumili ng Conex or mag-subscribe sa monthly subscription nila para makapag-apply ka ng trabaho. Sa free app, walang ganun. So, yun. The next advantage din sa free app is no fee. Alright? Sa Upwork, sabihin natin, like yung example ko kanina, na if you earn $100, si Upwork kakaltas sa'yo ng 20%, so $80 na lang yung sa'yo, tapos yung $20 nasa kanila. Sa free up, walang ganun. So, if you earn $100, $100 yung ma-earn mo, kasi si client yung nagbabayad sa fee. Okay? So, yun yung maganda sa, ano, sa free up. Now, the next advantage is similar to Upwork, weekly payout. Yun yung maganda sa kanya. Weekly payout din siya like upper and the last advantage of free up is that most clients wants to work with you long term sa upper kasi most of the landing page design jobs dun parang one time one time lang siya sa free up guys yung pinakamaganda dun is that when you work with a client tapos gumawa ka ng landing page sunod sunod yung project nila Kasi most of the clients on FreeUp are somewhat big, have big budgets as compared to, to Upwork. But I'm not saying na walang clients sa Upwork na hindi big budget. Kumbaga, sa sobrang dami ng clients dun, kaya hindi mo din alam kung sino yung may budget versus sa uh, konti lang yung budget. Sa FreeUp guys, most of the clients there have high budget. Alright, so yun, punta tayo sa disadvantage sa FreeUp. The first disadvantage is like sa Upwork, pero mas mahirap. Sa free up guys, it's very very difficult to be approved. Kasi nga, what they are looking for are just the 1% freelancers. Tapos, yung mahirap pa dun is that, yun nga, hindi naman manual yung verification nila. Pero yun, you'll, you'll have to take their parang entrance exam and then after that, meron pang interview then, yun, dun ka palang makakagawa ng account inside FreeUp. Pero yun, medyo mahirap talaga yung screening nila. Yan yung first disadvantage ng, ano, ng FreeUp. So, the next disadvantage, again, strict selection of freelancers that can bid to a project. So, hindi siya tulad sa Upwork na sabihin natin graphic designer ka, tas gusto mong mag-apply sa iba't ibang trabaho, like okay lang yun kahit hindi mo naman parang expertise. Like sabi natin, yung focus mo is YouTube thumbnail and then biglang may post ng Facebook ad graphics sa Upwork, pwede ka mag-apply sa Facebook ad. Sa, sa free app, hindi ganyan. Kung sabihin mong YouTube thumbnail ka, YouTube thumbnail lang yung pwede mong ma-apply yan. Kung baga, super, ano sila, super strict din kasi minamatch talaga nila yung client nila to a very good freelancer. Kaya medyo strict din. Yun yung disadvantage sa free up. Although, para sa akin guys, this is a very very big advantage. Kasi it lowers the competition. Kasi when you are good sa positioning mo, and then na-optimize mo talaga yung profile mo guys, it's not very hard to close clients on free up. So para sa akin, para sa akin lang ha, hindi ko siya masyadong nakikitang disadvantage. Although, for a lot of people, they may see this as a disadvantage kasi nga, strict yung selection. Alright, so yun. The next na is yung question. How much can you charge for your landing page design service for free up clients or clients inside free up? So, to answer that, if you are focused again on aesthetics, yung charge mo, yung minimum is $12 per hour, to $35 per hour. Now, if you focus on designing for conversions, you can charge a minimum of $45 an hour and above. And minsan, guys, kasi ngayon, nakafocus talaga ako sa free up, 
may times na yung clients, kahit nagpapakonsult lang sila sa'yo, like, you would just be on a call, and then i-check mo lang yung landing page nila, they are still paying you sa hourly rate mo, kahit wala kang ginagawang landing page. Alright, so punta tayo sa last platform, which is onlinejobs.ph. And yung advantage sa onlinejobs.ph is that when you create an account with them, instantly ma-approve yung account mo, Although, meron silang necessary information na kailangan mong i-fill out like yung skills mo, i-connect mo yung mga social media platforms mo, yung hourly rate mo or yung monthly rate mo, and then yung about you or a little bit about your service. And another advantage din sa online jobs is that hindi mo kailangan magbayad ng connects unlike Upwork na kailangan mong bayad para makapag-apply. So, sa online jobs, walang ganun. Alright, so disadvantage naman sa online jobs is that most clients there are low-paying clients. In short, maliit yung budget nila. And the next disadvantage is that clients controls the schedule of the payment. Hindi tulad sa Upwork and then free up na weekly yung payment. Sabi natin gusto nila na 15-30th yung bayad, meron iba na every 30th lang yung bayad. So, yun guys, you're probably asking, what would be the best platform for you? Now, for me lang guys, I'd probably create an account on Upwork, FreeUp, and on online jobs. Bakit? Kasi yung goal natin is to make it easier for clients to find us. So, parang raffle lang yan. The more platforms you have, the more chances of getting clients. But, kung mag apply na ako ng trabaho, I'll just focus on one platform para mas maging expert ako doon and para mas maging familiar ako sa platform na yun. Now, I hope you find this video valuable. And if you find this video valuable, kindly comment your one takeaway you got from this video. Like, ano ba yung platform na fofocusan mo? And also, if you have any ideas or topics na gusto mong i-cover ko in the next video, please comment down below as well. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. And by the way guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye guys!